And it is the week of March 26th. Welcome back to Mike Ferry TV. We talked the last two weeks about numbers, playing the game, tracking your numbers. Hopefully you watched, hopefully you learned, and hopefully you have a better understanding. And at the end of last week, I said, we're going to shift now to listing property. Why? We all know that in most of North America, there is a listing shortage. It's caused by a number of factors. But the truth is, a listing shortage of inventory is many times just caused by the fact that most agents are afraid to, don't know how to, will not go out and try to get listings. There's sellers in your market. So here's a question. Will anybody within five miles of your office list their home for sale today? What's the answer? The answer is yes. Are they going to call you and ask you to list their home? The answer is probably no. Are you going to call them and ask them to list your home, their home? You're probably going to say no again. So part of the lack of inventory is economic. Part of it is a lack of new home construction. But a big part of the inventory problem is the fact that agents are so involved in the path of least resistance, taking the easy way out, buying leads off the internet, buyer leads, by the way, not seller leads. They're so busy in that type of mindset because it, let's face it, it is a lot easier for you to list a home, excuse me, to sell a home to a buyer than list a home for sale. Why? Because see, buyers buy in spite of the agent. If you can find a property, open the door, and they fall in love, they buy it in spite of the fact that you're there with them. Sellers list because of the stardom, the qualities, the techniques, the skills, the disciplines, all those issues of you as an agent. You become a listing star in your area. They know about it. You develop strong skills. They hear that when you walk in the door. So Listing property is, is a challenge. It's tough. So again, let's review. Five-step listing process we want you to follow. Step one, okay? Pre-qualify 100% of the people, 100% of the time, no exceptions. Well, I don't want to. I know. I fight this every day with even our best clients. Why do we not want to? Because, Mike, uh, I don't want to know if they're not motivated. Hold it. If they're not motivated, why are you making a presentation? Well, Mike, you know, with my style, if they're not highly motivated and I go and I make a presentation, I probably can convince them to sell their home. I actually had one of my good broker friends and great broker clients. He sends agents out on non-qualified presentations because he says, point blank, I believe if my agents are in front of the seller, they will magically decide to sell because of the strength of our agent. If a seller doesn't want to sell, it doesn't matter what we say, they don't want to sell. So I pre-qualified to determine the motivation of that seller. Then step two, of course, mail or deliver a non-ego pre-listing package. Facts and figures, okay, about what they have to know to get their home sold. Step three, of course, is to call back and confirm they read the package. A lot of agents leave that step out. Why? Well, because, Mike, when I call back, they may be upset, give me objections, be unhappy with what I put in the pre-listing package. No, 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 no. Let's forget that they may be. They are. They're going to be upset. Why? Because you're going to tell them the truth. You're going to be one of the only agents that tells them the truth. You're going to deal with the reality of that property, of that seller, and what you're trying to accomplish listing package is reality-based. I call back to confirm. Hi, Mr. Smith. It's Mike. Did you get the package? Well, yes, we did. Are there any questions or concerns? Well, first of all, that price you put in the package, you haven't even seen the house, and we feel our properties were $795, and you put down $625. What is the matter with you? Thank you, Mrs. Smith. I really appreciate you bringing that up. Let's do this. The moment I walk in the door tomorrow at 7 o'clock, Let's you and I and your husband discuss the price in detail and get that settled. Let's not go, let's, let's get that done first. All right. If you call back to confirm and you pre-qualify, you draw the objections out in advance. So then, of course, step four is I tell agent, show up physically, mentally, and emotionally and be 15 minutes early. You know, all of our lives are very rushed today. 
traffic and people and communication and devices and cell phones and emails and Twitter and twi oh my God, I can't even keep track of all the stuff I'm supposed to do. And now I'm late. Well, see, if you're 15 minutes early, sitting in front of the house, you can't be late. I get to the house 15 minutes in advance. I check my tie, make sure my hair is combed, the lady, my makeup is on. I take out the pre-listing package. I read through what I sent them. I have my scripts that I want to cover with them. I review them a couple times. I get a sense of calmness about me. I'm in the right mindset to go in and do my job. And then at five minutes to, I walk up to the house. But then step five is read the scripts to them. Follow the scripts verbatim. Okay, follow the scripts. So what, 45 years ago, I took all the scripts I had and I put them on five by eight cards and three by five cards. I had all these cards and I wrote all the scripts and I would walk into the house and I would say to the seller, I've written down here a lot of very important questions. Would you mind if I read through them with you? No, they'd say, okay. I used to just read the scripts to the seller. You've been to my seminars, and if not, go to one of our seminars. Watch, I stand up in front of 500, 1,000, 5,000 people with my notebook and my scripts, and I read them to the audience. Watch, I'm a high-paid reader. I want you to be a high-paid professional realtor. If you can read, read the scripts. But how do you get to the point where you can read the scripts effectively? Practice and role-play the scripts all the time. So you have to look at why you don't want to use the scripts. You have to look at what is your hang-up. Is it the fact that you haven't learned them? Is it the fact you haven't role-played? Is it the fact you're uncomfortable? Is your ego too big for you to use the scripts effectively? It's always going to be something that gets in the way. Let's move it out of the way so you can do your job at a higher level, okay? Now, I will say this to you, and I wrote this down, okay? If you think these five steps in the MFO listing process don't apply to you, your ego is way too big and way in the way of the, own, of the success you deserve. So what you have to do then is you have to say to yourself, what is getting in the way of me becoming a great listing agent? So watch, I wrote down, to become a great listing agent, set what I call a pre-appointment routine before you go to list property. For example, okay? Getting your mindset in order. If you're there 50 minutes early, relax, review the package, review your script's mindset, okay? Practicing your presentation before you walk into the house. Looking and dressing professionally. God, I, I just went to one of the national conventions last month in Las Vegas. And I have to tell you, I walked through in a suit and tie and people were looking at me like I was either weird or maybe uh, you know, am I a reporter or am I from the movie business? What, who is this guy that's dressed in? People were, this is a national convention. Shorts, t-shirts, hats on backwards, wandering around, you know, three-day beards, hairs in a peak. I mean, I, these are professional real estate people. Hello. I wrote down ensuring you have all the proper materials prepared before you go out. And of course, being punctual and on time. And you know, most agents show up two, three, five, 10, 15 minutes late. Question for you, are your sellers ever nervous before you get to the house? Answer is yes. And if you're late, does that nervousness expand and grow? Answer is yes. If they're nervous and you show up late, you've immediately reduced your chance of getting your contract signed. So think about the process, think about how you're gonna use it, then actually do the things we say. I'm going to continue the listing process next week with you. See you next week.